125 years ago, H.R. Hall took his first steps in realising his dream to become a farmer. At the time, the low felt was wild and inhospitable, and most thought an impossible environment to live year-round. But Hall was no ordinary man. He was a pioneer with an indomitable spirit. He started more than just a farm. He created H.L. Hall & Sons. Destined to become one of South Africa's most outstanding and renowned family businesses. H.L. Hall & Sons is more than just a legacy of one determined man. Today it is a global company with offices around the world built on the efforts of pioneering generations. It is a company connected to its rich past with diversity of talent and ability that reflects those of its founder, whilst constantly evolving and moving ever forward. But Halls is more than just a business. It's a company built on authentic human values and partnerships, combining integrity and ethics with innovation and smart thinking, always looking after the people it works with the community it works in, as well as the environment. We've been enormously fortunate with the legacy left by our forefathers. Over the last 125 years, we've been primarily a farming business and amassed land during that period. But over the last 25 years, the foundation laid by our forefathers has allowed us to develop three uh, thriving businesses. Hall's Fresh Produce, Hall's Properties, and Hall's Investments. The foundation that was laid wasn't just measurable in terms of normal yardsticks and wealth. It was about the examples that were set by our forebearers. They taught us a lot about how to work with people, the people we employed in the communities that we live in. When I was younger, I remember my father and my grandmother talking about halls. Life was far from easy in those early, early days. The land was good for crops, but not for humans, with malaria, yellow fever and tsetse fly a constant threat. I can't imagine living like that. But Yudanai Hall was as clever as he was determined. He chose this land at Metafin to start farming, not only for its abundant water, but also knowing that the planned Pretoria lorenzo Marks railway line would have to come through the property. It was his vital link to the markets, but the going wasn't easy. With numerous cop failures, disease outbreaks, wars and hardship, HL persevered and his business began to grow. There followed a time of prosperity. Agricultural production grew rapidly, requiring the railway to establish a station at Metafin to handle the output. H.R. Hall & Sons was formally incorporated in 1921 with H.R. Son Lanayon, an excellent farmer and astute businessman, as the first managing director. By the time of the royal visit in 1948, Halls was one of the largest citrus producers in the Commonwealth. The decline in our fortunes in the 1970s and 80s put my predecessors in a very difficult predicament, particularly because of the socio-political environment that prevailed before 1994. We had to draw deep on, on the DNA of our forefathers uh, to take some tough decisions. We had to get out of citrus. Uh, we had disease. And later we got out of timber because of poor underlying economics. In looking around for a new business to concentrate on, we were looking for something that could give us scale and a product where we could play in the downstream value-adding uh, processes. We had established a presence in the United Kingdom uh, and a brand there with avocados, and so we decided to focus on avocados. This was a turning point for the business and an important milestone for the agricultural enterprise. Halls did more than just change their core focus to avocados. They strive to be on the cutting edge of the industry again and were responsible for some radical innovations. And today this family business is now a global player in the fresh produce industry with offices in South Africa, the United Kingdom, France and the Netherlands. Halls Fresh Produce is, is now a fully vertically integrated company where we're in production, packing, sourcing, marketing and distribution of a range of, of subtropical products with our main focus on avocado. 
Halls finds himself really strongly positioned. In Europe, we've got a really strong position in the avocado uh, sector, and we're supplying most of the major retailers across Europe. In fact, our product can be found in 27 countries across Europe. The future looks extraordinarily bright. The world of avocados is growing, and we want to grow with it. Our soil is always going to remain in the soil, and that will include investing further in agriculture, not just in South Africa, but other parts of the world. Well, I think the opportunity that the new dispensation presented, it afforded us the opportunity of getting into a new business. It afforded us also an opportunity to make a significant contribution to the city through the donation of land for the provincial government complex, which we believe was a significant factor in, in Nelspruit actually securing capital status. And that capital status has, has been a huge boon for, for the city and the region. And obviously for our development at Riverside, it kind of really was a big catalyst to seeing Riverside growing and developing at the pace it has, and, and also our property business. In the many years that I've worked with Halls, I've always been impressed with the way they conduct their business. This was a family that respected the environment and firmly believed in putting back into their community. This wetland was rehabilitated by Halls when they developed this part of Nelspruit. They donated land to the National Botanical Society to enlarge the beautiful Lofeld Botanical Gardens and ensure the natural preservation of the majestic cascades and gorge on the Crocodile River. As large landowners in the Nelspruit area, they made many other contributions to the evolving socio-economic landscape. In 2003, a land settlement deal was concluded between Halls and the government. That was the biggest deal in the country at the time and 6,000 hectares was sold to government, half of it in Matafan and half of it in White River. They've always believed in partnerships that were truly beneficial. We regard our relationship with Halls as fundamentally important. And the establishment of the Riverside Precinct is one of those typical examples of a partnership that has gone right between government and private sector. And Halls has played that role. That precinct has created and changed the social and economic fabric of our city completely. Halls has donated 50 hectares of land to resettle 440 families from Matafen to Pumulani. It was one of the, if not the first, successful project between government and the private sector. Despite Hall's property's successes and the massive development that has taken place at Riverside Park over the past 15 years, Hall's properties will continue to own and develop land long into the future. Once upon a time, I had a vision to run my own business, but I didn't have the means to. My father was a carpenter at Halls, and he approached them on my behalf. Lightstone, a technology business in the Halls Group, offered to help me. They did more than just fund my venture. Lightstone helped me start my own family business. Halls has always been about family values, but also about recognizing and encouraging potential in people and opportunities in business and this clearly flows through the entire group. Paul's investment really defines the culture of the company today. Smart thinking combined with a pioneering spirit like the founder, Hugh Lenail Hall, of 125 years ago. We've been really fortunate in being able to attract fantastic partners into our business. One of the things that is absolutely remarkable is how we've been able to mirror the values that we've experienced in halls over the years and to really bring that out in the partners that we have in the various investments. In the pharmaceutical portfolio, we have three businesses. There's the Multiman business, cattle and sheep injectables. There's Delta Mutant, which is specialist vaccines and diagnostic laboratories. Each vaccine is designed for a specific disease outbreak. Nobody else in South Africa does that. And then we have the Skeletium business, the product that we call Zembrin, that is made from uh, plant Skeletium tortosum, the natural anti-anxiety and cognitive function medicine. In technology, we have 
consolidated most of our investments into Lightstone. So the component parts of Signio, Lightstone Property, RGT Smart have come together under common leadership in Lightstone. The businesses focus on three asset classes, on property, on automotive and on businesses. And the other investment that we have in the technology portfolio is Comcorp. We've been really fortunate to have a long-standing relationship with the Vessels family. That relationship built on mutual trust and respect has led us into a number of investments that include Bridgehead Real Estate Fund and an insurance company called All Life. All Life provides life and disability cover for people who have chronic diseases such as HIV and diabetes. This is something that none of the other life companies had ever thought was possible. The Bridgehead Real Estate Fund focuses primarily on student accommodation in the business that they call Res Publica. Halls is more than a well-executed business. It is a family to all who work here, and it is a company that touches the lives of all who live here. We were born, uh, raised on the farm, sent to schools, uh, schools around the farm. In fact, uh, it was very rare those days to find a farm that has about six primary schools. We were then taken to the secondary school nearby in Nelspreit and we were provided with uh, uniform, school books, transport, everything. In terms of the general treatment um, of people, we didn't know what apartheid was. If I were to have a second shot in life, I would ask for the same. I think that as much as H.L. Hall couldn't imagine where we are now, it'd be hard for us to imagine where we're going to be in 20 years' time. But if there's a common theme of values, of focusing on community involvement and uh, community support, and keeping that basic decency that we see in our business, I think that it's going to take us a long way. It's been a truly incredible 125 years, filled with achievements inside and outside of the business that anyone would be proud of. But it's a journey that has just begun, the first steps towards a better future. Mm -hmm.